What up, though? And welcome back to Rio's Reactions. So today is Thursday, October the 14th, 2021. And I'm coming to you, motherfuckers, from the time machine. We about to get on our Marty McFly shit, take our asses back to 1986, and vibe the fuck out with the boy Chuck Chillout. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we got some real classic shit in store for you niggas right now. I think the first joint we gonna get to is from the boogie down. Let's get it. Is this that dude Super Rhymes or something like that? Oh shit. This shit dope. Yo. This shit right here is dope, my nigga. Buckle the fuck up. This nigga Super Rhymes can wrap his ass off, nigga. Let's go. That beat is not Yes, I'm super rhymes. I'm 22. I want to be 100 before I'm due because no, I didn't come from the planet Earth. Planet I'm on is my place of birth. Uh oh. Okay. Okay, he didn't come from the planet Earth. Don't forget, this. he super rhymes, right? Superman, super rhymes. This nigga ain't from the planet Earth. Planet Rhyming is his place of birth. Talk to him. Let's go, nigga. He said the doctor slapped me on my behind. I didn't cry. I started to rhyme. This. <laughs> Oh, this shit is funny. I found myself in the operating room. Then the doctor spanked me on my behind. I didn't cry, the kids started to rhyme. My mother said, son, that's the way it should be. Your name is Super Rhymes, you'll be an MC. So then I put me on a meteorite. Sent me to Earth to rock the mic. Oh. I went to Earth and started laying it down at the jam of the mic. I couldn't be found while I was at the jam. I hold this is the good. I'm rocking to the beat, said I'm feeling fine. Just hold up, son. Hold up, son. This is the This thing is... That's so, so the doctor smacked him on the ass, and instead of crying, he started to rhyme, and the mom was like, that's what you was meant to be, a motherfucking MC, right? So the father put the nigga on the media, right, and shipped him off to motherfucking New York, because <laughs> that was what only place rap was back then when this shit came out. So this nigga, this nigga just rolled the media, right, to planet Earth, and he going immediately to a cypher. All right, let's go. <laughs> Super Rhymes, nigga. Super Rhymes, you'll be an MC. Oh, he went to the jam, not a second. Run away from who? Oh, 
Hotel. Wow, Wait, did he call him Coward Hotel or or Howard Cosell? Howard Cosell is the legendary, um, you know, ABC announcer who had a real good relationship with Ali back in the day. All right, all right, so. He just rocked the party, yo. He just rocked the mic, you know. He was going through some shit mentally. So, you know, as every great art, every great MC has to do, every great performer, I should say, you know, they only feel at home when they doing what the fuck they was meant to do. And obviously, we know that Super Rhymes was meant to motherfucking rhyme. So, he was depressed, you know, so he went to the DJ. He was depressed because this bitch he was dancing with turned out to be looking like Frankenstein and shit. I'd be depressed, too. So, he was depressed about that shit. So, he said, fuck it. I need to rhyme. So, he went to the DJ. The DJ already know the nigga because he either came down on the media right, went straight to a park jam and bodied everybody, right? So, he said, fuck it, Super Rhymes. Do what the fuck you want to do, my nigga. And he rocked that shit all night. And now, he just met somebody. Who he meet? I don't know who he met. I'm hot. I already forgot. Let me back it up a little bit and catch back up with this motherfucking story. <laughs> oh yeah, I'll Coward Hotel. Watch your Fisher Box, Muhammad Ali. He said, Excuse me, sir, are you super right? The one with the fine woman, Lois Line. I said, I am. Will I be on TV like the fruit, like a butterfly stinging Ali? He said, yeah. Yes, my man, if you're sure. <laughs> like the fluff, like a butterfly stinging Ali. The fine woman, Lois Line. I said, I am. Will I be on TV like the fruit, like a butterfly stinging Ali? He said, Yes, my man, if you show me your can. I was told you had the master plan. So mm -hmm. I broke the mic for how it goes sell to show America how I rock so well. And while mm -hmm. I broke the mic, this is what I said about Dracula, the living dead. He didn't like blood, not this vampire. The disco beat was his desire. Transformation uh. was way he made home until one day he decided to roam. And then out of the crypt, uh, he did crawl. A cow Dracula is what he's called. He said the sun's gone down and now it's night. I'm going to spread my wings and take a city of flight. <laughs> I flew away. I said that the disco is where I gotta stay because back home there was nothing like this. And Transylvania, this is what I miss. They just bite nuts and suck blood all day when I knew their heart to be a better way. I packed my coffin said Vampires, pie as I am leaving. So I turned into a <laughs> and down that evening. The first disco. <laughs> I was trying to ride out the whole, the whole fucking uh, vamp, uh, Count Dracula rhyme, yo. But that nigga just said he packed his coffin and he took the fuck off. <laughs> that nigga just packed up his coffin and bounced, son. So this nigga supervised. He auditioned it for Howard Cosell. Now is he like, you know how like what uh. Like a nigga like Puffy or 50 or Eminem or some shit like that when they be out in public, niggas be running up on them like rhyming and shit like that. I think that's like how Mason them get on. Like they just ran up on Puff and start. No, they somebody knew them was a connection. But that's a, like an old story. Like a nigga just run up on a nigga and start rhyming. They be like, I'm signing this nigga. So this nigga is rhyming for Howard Cos Coward Cosell, my bad. He rhymed for Coward Cosell so he could get on fucking ABC or some shit like that, right? So this nigga start rapping about Count Dracula for some reason. <laughs> Does he know Count Dracula? Like, what's happening? What happened to Superman? Like, uh, to Super Rhymes, yo? Like, what the fuck is going on? But anyway, so this nigga Dracula, like, this nigga Dracula, like, he fiending for disco. Ain't that what he said? Like, he wanted to spend his time in a disco, but this is a hip-hop record. I don't understand it. But anyway, so my, my, nigga, my nigga Dracula, like, he don't want to be no blood sucker, you know what I'm saying, pause. He ain't trying to be no blood sucker. He trying to get to fucking New York so he can get into the fucking disco. Or is he want to be? A, does he want to be an MC? You know, you have to think. Back then, there were no hip hop clubs. The hip hop clubs were the nights that the disco clubs wouldn't use it, and then it became like hip hop night. That's how hip hop clubs were born, yo. There was they was a gateway from the disco era because a lot of the disco people listened to hip hop too because it was like street culture type shit. So anyway. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where the fuck my nigga Dracula is going. Is he just is he just leaving from Transylvania to New York to party, or is he like about to like be somebody? <laughs> 
Is he trying to be like the John Travolta of vampires? Or is he trying to be like the motherfucking super rhymes of vampires? What's happening? I'm confused. All right, let's get it. This shit's dope. <laughs> At the disco is where I gotta stay because Bob At the disco is where Oh, he's speaking for the vampire. He decided to roam and then out of the crib. Uh, he did call. A uh, cow Dracula is what he's called. He said the sun's gone down and now it's night. I'm going to split my wings and take a city as flight. Okay. I, to a box. I flew away. I said that the disco is where I got to stay because uh. home, there was nothing like this. And Transylvania, this is what I miss. They just bite next and suck blood all day when I knew <laughs> they had to be a better way. All I, night, nigga, not all day. As I am leaving, so I turned into a box and cut out that evening. <laughs> Oh shit. <laughs> Yo, why am I visioning a real fucking vampire with a cape on and the widow's peak haircut and shit with that shit slick back? I'm picturing this pale motherfucker at the front door of Studio 4 trying to get in. And he like, why can't I get in? And they like, motherfucker, you dress like a vampire. And he like, but I am a vampire. <laughs> Count Dracula, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, man. Yo, the time machine be having a nigga tripping, yo. <laughs> I can pack my coffin, said to the other vampires, I am fever. <laughs> oh, in case you need a freak attack. <laughs> <laughs> he do got the widow's feet. <laughs> oh, he said he started to bounce. <laughs> the Transylvania boogie, nigga. Oh, shit. I cannot stay because this one pies must be in before it turns day. Okay. Forget, I'll be back. I like it when I catch a need of free guitar. Uh oh. A free guitar, nigga. We say good evening. It's the whole cell set. Damn, that's good. You'll be on TV in every neighborhood. Okay. He passed on this shit. We must put you on KBC. Okay. We'll play my best. I'll come a little better than all the rest because I'll come with any less. Then all the rhymes that go past the test Because I'm yeah. cool as ice, I'm twice as nice I never had an off day in my life Just Damn! All your money bust out your wife Make me dance to my <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Take all your money and bust out your wife? Nigga, I was about to go back and quote some of your other words But goddamn, nigga <laughs> That nigga say I'm cool as ice I'm twice as nice This nigga's going there, yo, yo Super rounds is nice as fuck so I don't care Hey, I know y'all niggas feeling this shit too. Don't front. Hold up. Never have an off day in my life. Hold up. What is that? He said he's his hair is more wavy than a than a boat in the navy. Is that what that nigga just said? <laughs> this nigga got wave bars. What? My voice. The ladies hear me. I am their choice because my hair is more wavy than the ships in the navy. Damn. 
speed in the ships in the Navy and they use a boat. The ladies hear me, I am their choice because my hands more weighty than the ships in the Navy and they use a boat to stay afloat. The whole hickey's all over my throat because I am so cold. Oh, wait, that's it? <laughs> yeah. My nigga Super Rise. Was that the end of the song? I feel like that song's longer than that, yo. Damn. <laughs> that nigga say, my hair is more wavy than a ship in the Navy. You gotta use a boat to float, nigga. <laughs> that nigga say... He going to take the dude's money or something like that, bust out his wife, and make him listen to his song. <laughs> this nigga Super Rise was an ill nigga, son. Hold on. Let me hear just a little bit more again. Yeah. That's a been your boogie. I am so cool. That's the like hard nigga. We got MC Shad and Molly Hall in the house tonight. All right, here we go, yo. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. The bridge wars. The bridge. The bridge. The bridge. Do I need to like let niggas know the history? This shit should be self-explanatory by now. You know, I might do that at another time, but for now, we in the time machine. And we ain't gonna get into all that. So let's continue to vibe the fuck out, yo. Cause I am so cool. <laughs> 